Hey everybody and welcome back to Toy Picker Infinity's toy channel. So rolling along to the next video and today I am doing another robot that a lot of people tend to dislike but they really shouldn't and this is the Godaiken Laseron or Laserion. Uh, however you would like to pronounce it, I pronounce it Laseron because hey that's the way it looks to me. And so Laseron comes from Super Video Robot Laseron in Japan. Uh, this was a robot that a kid uh, kind of fictionally designed in his mind in the show, I get. It's kind of hard to follow the show. But he either fictionally designed the robot or... Uh, some sort of alien started attacking the earth out of the TV and one of the little kid or the boy, the guy that's in the show, jumps into this robot and travels into the TV world or radio world in Laseron. And Laseron is kind of like, you know, his robot is his armor to go and fight these aliens. And so he's the super video fighter. But, um... Bondi included him in the Daikin collection, and a lot of people find him very strange because he his trans he does transform, but his transformation he turns into another little robot or a ship, but the robot itself does not transform. You actually take all of the parts that are inside of him. He's all has all these chrome and clear parts and you can stretch his legs apart and all of these parts kind of pop out of laser on and then you can put the other forms together using pegs now I'm not going to put those forms together because my pegs have never been used I have a set uh, this robot was completely mint when I got it and he's still in beautiful beautiful condition um, but the other thing I'm going to do to you guys right now is this is not really a Godaiken laser on. I just happen to have the outer box. And so now what I'm going to do is make you love laser on even more and hate your Godaiken laser on even more. So I'm going to be doing both at the same time. So a lot of people already don't like laser on because he doesn't really transform in anything. So... But he does. You know, here it is on the back. It shows that he transforms into a little robot. And you have to use these little pegs. See, it comes with this set of stuff right here. And then these little teeny pegs that are on the inside. And all these little pegs, you can put it together to form either this robot or you can form the jet. Okay? You don't need any of the pegs to form the robots. You just need the parts. And all the parts go right on inside to form laser on. The other weird thing that Laseron does, and I think this demonstrates how he, when the little boy leaves the video world, how the robot disappears. And so they show that you can crunch this thing completely up. And so it'll crunch to this little flat thing. I think like it's disappeared, and that's how maybe it does in the show. I haven't watched it all the way through. Again, like I said, it's kind of odd. But, so... Laseron is very articulate, though. Out of all the Gadaiken robots, he has lots of movement. He can move his elbow joints, his shoulder joints, and you can tell this one's really nice because it still ratchets pretty well. His fists rotate and turn, open and close. Um, the head does not move, but he has lots of leg movement. You can totally bend his knees and pose him a little bit, even his feet reposition and stuff like that. So... You know, kind of one of those first robots out of the Gadaiken collection that had a lot of hinges and joints. But that's so you can squish him down. And uh, just for the sake of it, the pilot goes up here in the jet. So here's the little jet inside the head which pops out so you can even squish the head down. Okay. But now, so how I'm going to make you... So how you would hate Laser on is because he doesn't really transform the robot itself. You have to pull out these little pegs, which the pegs are these little rubbery things and wimpy to make the other forms. And so that's not very cool. But 
to make you love laser on, let's toss out this box. We're going to toss it over there. Everybody's going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you just threw that box. Yes, I did. I just threw that box out of the way. And I am going to bring in the cover for this box. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Japanese version of Laseron. And the part that I want you to pay attention to most is right in the dead center of this picture. Now this is the huge Bondi Laseron slide out case. This is the actual Popey version. Um, and so when you pull the cases out, you get this beautiful, awesome case right here, which this is the actual case where I have all of his parts and stuff. And you also get this. This is why I wanted to do this video because this will make you love laser on. Okay. So only the Bondi Popey set comes with this. And what this is, is in the TV show, Laseron does not just look like this. Laseron looks like an armored football player robot, pretty much. I mean, he looks cool. So this is the actual armor set that comes with the Popey. So inside the Popey box, let me open it up here so y'all can see. Now there's no difference between the Popey box and the Bondi box, except for everything's in Japanese. So here's the inside when it does have a window cover instead of the window box like the other one does. So it does have a really cool window cover. Everything's in Japanese, but on the interior, it's exactly the same foam holds all the parts and there's all the pegs that are still brand new directions the outer guns, and even the sword. The sword's still taped down. I haven't even pulled the sword out yet. Maybe I should do that. But uh, this is the same foam that would come in the Gadaiken box. So there's really no difference in that. But what's really cool is the armor. So we're gonna pull out the armor and let's put it on. So this is the armor set. And the armor set comes with knees, it comes with extra wrist guards, a chest guard, shoulder guards, and a head guard. The cool thing about this is once you put it on, and let's put it on, then you'll see what happens with laser on. So you put the knee armor in. It's one. two and then it has just this little chest piece that snaps right on the chest piece yeah and then you just get all the parts out of here Throw that over there. We are gonna put one shoulder, the other shoulder, and they just slide on. Just the shoulder pieces just slide right on. And then the cool part is these wrist pieces because Laseron only came with one rocket launcher, which is his gun. Well, the wrist parts have actual shooting rocket launchers on them. So once you get them locked in properly, which I do not have them totally locked on, but he has shooting wrist guards. And yes, it comes with rockets and everything. So not only does his big gun have rocket launchers, now he has rocket launchers on his fists. So it's almost like uh, if anybody out there owns a uh, Robotech Cyclone. It's kind of like the Cyclone bikes where they have the rocket launchers on. Last but not least is the helmet piece. Bam. 
Now he looks awesome. So laser on is not too bad now because now he looks like this armored gargantuan ready to take on anything. I mean, how could you not want to mess around with that thing? I mean, you know, you could have some good robot brawls with him. Oops. But the armor doesn't like to stay on if you don't click it all the way on. And I don't want to click it all the way on because there are little clips on here. And it is old, so, you know, I don't want to bust the clips off. I'm just trying to be gentle with it. But, you know, you put in his big gun. I mean, now he can go to town where he get out his sword or whatever. And, I mean, you talk about awesome. That made laser on awesome for me when i found out that there was an armor set from bondi i was like man i have got to have that set and once i got it i mean it's pretty cool so you know if you can find one of these they're pretty difficult to find the armor sets but if you can find the armor set it's totally worth having because then it makes laser on all that more the cooler robot and every once in a while on uh yahoo japan or ebay every once in a while you'll see this box come up and if you see that box and it's full i would grab it because if you can just get the armor singly that would be awesome for your laser on but if you want to buy the whole set, you know, the uh, whole set with the slip case and all that stuff, man, on eBay, I think there's a couple of them and they're like $800, $900 or something like that. But, you know, again, this is super rare. The armor set is like for laser on and out of a lot of the robots. It's one of the rarest pieces to get a hold of because they only sold the armor in Japan and that is it. It never made it to America or any other Asian country, only Japan. So it's kind of cool if you can get a hold of one of these armor sets. All right, so if you have any questions or any comments, leave them at the bottom of the window, and I'm out of time, and stay tuned for my next video. All right, bye, guys.